Universe Makeup Geeks. As you can tell, I'm doing a really funky candy corn inspired look today. I don't know what it is, but that's my favorite Halloween candy. And I looked at it and I was like, oh, it'd be really fun to do a look like that. So I did this look here. I tried to blend it and tone it down just a little bit so it's at least somewhat wearable. But if anything, you guys could just wear this to Halloween if you aren't dressing up in a costume. You just do something really funky and fun and festive. So anyways, let's pull out our white, orange, and yellow eyeshadows and do our candy corn look. So our first step to this look is to put a white base down. I'm going to use the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk just because it's a nice creamy base. But you guys need to make sure you put a little concealer on your lids or a primer just because these are so creamy they will crease. So you just want a little bit on the lid. So just get the color started like that and then use a ring finger just to blend it out. You want just a very thin layer. So once you have that white base blended out, you want to keep it mainly just on the lid. I'm going to take a flat stiff brush like this. This is the MAC 239 and the color Gesso. It's a very matte finish white. I'm taking matte and I'm just going to put it on the inner corner of the eye. And I'm going to blend it up here just a little bit because I want to have this very bright and open. Now take that same brush on a bright yellow. I'm going to use Max Chrome Yellow. It's a super bright yellow. Take that flat brush and we're just going to put this here on the outer part of the eye, staying under the crease. And what I'm going to do is just brush it inwards and I'm going to leave the center part blank for that orange. Same brush again. Now we're going to go in with the orange color. I'm going to use Max Orange and it's just a matte finish bright orange. So I'm going to take that flat stiff brush again and we're just going to pat this on the center. And I'm doing this last just because it's such a potent color that I don't want it to overtake the lid. So that's why I'm doing it last. But I'm going to show you guys how to blend it. Because the traditional candy corn is very stripey and I didn't want it to just be line, line, line because then it looks like you didn't really blend it well. So the key to it is to keep going back between the colors. So use that same brush, pick up the yellow, and what you're going to do is kind of swipe it sideways like this. Put a little bit of the orange on flip it over. You're going to keep swiping it sideways to kind of blend the line so it's not just a straight harsh line. Same thing with the white in here. I want to blend the white and orange. So I'm going to pick up a little bit more white and I'm going to sweep it sideways like this and kind of blend out the line between the white and the orange. Now to soften the crease, you can leave it like this if you want it very traditional candy corn, but I want it to be a little bit more blended and wearable. So I'm going to take kind of an orangey yellow color. So let me show you guys. Here's the yellow. See how bright that is? And then here's the orange. I want something that's kind of an orangey yellow just to tone down that crease. This is Max Burnt Orange, and I'm taking the Mug Outer V brush, something that's kind of a small dome brush. Take that, and you're just going to blend this in the crease. And this is to soften out any harsh lines in here, so just blend that upwards. Same brush, now take a color that's close to your skin. For me, that's Max Orb. So I want something that's matte finish, close to my skin color. We're going to put this just under the brow, and this is just to soften out the line from that golden orange. Now we're going to do the lower lash line. This is optional. You guys can stop here, put on your mascara, and go. But I want just a little color under here also. So I'm going to take a pencil brush. This is Max 219. And the same colors I used earlier. I'm going to start with the orange. Just smudge this on the outer part of the eye. Wipe it off. Take the yellow color. And we're going to put this on the inner part of the eye. And then to blend it out, take the golden orange color and we're going to put this in the middle part of the eye. Now to make this look even more dramatic, I'm going to apply some lashes and I wanted something very full and you know a little bit dramatic so I'm using the Ardell Demi Pixies. They look like this so we're just going to apply those and then I'll show you how to do the rest of the face. For the cheeks, I'm going to keep it super easy just because the eyes are so dramatic. So I'm just using a bronzer and a MAC 109 brush. The one I'm using is Max Refine Gold and it was discontinued because it was from a limited collection. But whatever bronzer you guys like, go for <laughs> So I'm just going to take a bit of that and just apply it here under the cheekbone. 
and just blend it upwards onto the cheeks just to warm up my face a little. And then for the lips, I'm just going to line them with a really pretty corally lip liner. The one I'm using is Max um, Mouth Off. It's just a really kind of corally pink, so just line the lips with that. And then fill it in with your favorite peachy lipstick. My favorite peachy one is Max Jazz. It's a really gorgeous cream sheen finish. It's just very peachy. Now I know I'm going against my rule where I say, oh, if you have warm colors on the eyes, do opposite on the lips. I kind of want a theme going here where it is just a very orange and yellow look because it is candy corn inspired. So that's why I'm doing the um, peach color instead. And I think it kind of ties everything together. So that is pretty much it for our crazy dramatic candy corn makeup. I had a lot of fun. I would actually wear this out. I would, you know, people probably look at me a little funny, but I think it's something still really fun and festive. So wear it just for Halloween if you aren't dressing up. So <laughs> go to MakeupGeek.com. I put together a list of inexpensive alternatives for you guys, so check that out. But as usual, I really do hope you guys are staying happy and healthy, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.